these young men, young women started praying. They prayed all night. The Spirit was just on them, and they're praying. And then a few nights later, maybe a week later, it's Zinzendorf and a Nietzscheman and a Dober and some of these kind of elder men in the group started praying and, and seeking the Lord and being joyful in His presence. And then we have the Moravian Pentecost on August 13th. And now fast forward just not long at all, and they start meeting. 24 men, 24 women say, hey, we're going to pray every hour of the day. And this became a tradition for the next hundred years. They called it the fires never going out on the altar. And they would just lay prostrate before the Lord and they would pray and they would seek heaven and they would cry out to God. And this became the norm, not just in Hernhut, but in Hernhog, the next one. And then when they moved on to other missions in, in the Americas and in South Africa and in Greenland and in all over the world, they went everywhere and they're praying. And obviously they didn't start off with 24 seven prayer all the time. But this is the norm. Prayer is what fuels everything. Prayer is the center of our Christian community. This is the beating heart, pumping the Spirit of God to the whole body. That's what we need for our communities, the fire on the altar day in and day out with our families gathered together, praying the kingdom of God, not just into our little community, but into our town, our city, our our region. We're here in the heart of Texas, here in Waco, and these five surrounding counties, into all of Texas and into the whole United States or wherever you are.